in the UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. one-on-one -on -one competition as you mentioned great in transition big spot needless to say for him here tonight all right here he is your teammate the former ufc heavyweight champion of the world Cain velazquez and a lot of people will ask what could have been had he been able to stay healthy no denying his status though is one of the best heavyweights we've ever seen it's unbelievable that you consider him one of the greatest of all time even though he's missed about four years due to injury but when you look back to the junior dos santos trilogy getting knocked out in the first round, losing his heavyweight championship to dominating him over the course of 10 rounds is unreal to watch. The cardio, the pace, the pressure, the crispness, the tightness, and the accuracy that Kane possesses in his striking was truly amazing. No wasted energy. The Antonio Rodrigo fight, Noguera, the Noguera fight oh. was truly a master class of striking yes. when Kane finished him in one round. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of Five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Brock Lesnar! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 14 wins, three losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, King Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch gloves and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round one in DC. I know you have said to anyone within earshot, if you like that, this is the matchup for you. This is the matchup for you. You may as well be in a gymnasium somewhere watching a jiu-jitsu right, or a right. combat sambo competition because these guys are trying to both get the fight to the floor and they're trying to get bragging rights because no one has the accomplishments of these two in the grappling realm. So if one of them can secure a submission, it only will add to their legacy inside of the grappling realm. And if you're someone who likes the striking game, uh, maybe you'll like our next fight. Yes. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Ooh, 
Who blocks the shot? Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch from the clinch. Quick entry to get Man, it on a single. That was a great single. Oh. He flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that or is it my no, red my last pass? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over now. So just over 20 total strikes have now found the mark for Cain Velasquez. Big punch land. Ooh. Now on a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high punch. Take it for a ride. Oh, this is not good. Mounted crucifix. All that body weight from the top position. This could be the beginning of the end. Yes, this could be the beginning of the end. This is a very, very bad position for him. Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Down, no problem. Huge knee lands for the title. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Back mount now. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Velazquez gets back up again. Final seconds. Oh, is that a big... So there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent. Yeah, he was able to secure a bit of takedown, switching up the techniques, constantly changing the angle, never allowing his opponent to get a beat on what type of finish he was trying to go to. Both fighters throwing heat now. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high crotch. Both fighters get up now. Oh, wow! Head kick. Beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high crotch. Big slam takedown. That was beautiful. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Got him softened up here. Well, he's got his back now. He's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Take him down. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Back and forth we go. Working out of that southpaw stance. Wow. Actually, 
got the takedown. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on it. Here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates it. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that big. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round. And there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear when the pole is down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this round. He had a big effort there in round one. Really had the wrestling on full display. John, if he was looking to come out here, secure takedown, to feel good about the way things were going, he gets an A on his report card. Because takedown after takedown was secured, top position was secured, and as you watch... Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, got to a high ground. Nice big takedown. A technique, what a takedown, great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the back. I mean, right there, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> It's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> wow! Big knee. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Missed with that right hand. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Three minutes remain in the round. And they separate. All right, so the strike lands, but my my children hit hard. <laughs> yeah, at this point, early in the fight, you saw his head snap back. You can see the effect of punches were taken. Now, his head punches just smack him on the arm, like, good job, guy. What a fight. <laughs> Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? I would call on the fight stats here. These numbers are not official, but they are strong. 51 total strikes have landed for cardio game Velasquez. Well, you got to see... Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, seven seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by nine. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.